What have you got there? A coho? I haven't had a look at it yet. It looks yeah, like a nice coho. little coho. Yeah. You want to grab the net for us there, Gary? I sure will. Just a strong, nice little coho here, I think. Oh. Whoa! Nice airtime! She is uh, bouncing around like crazy. Right here. Nice fish. That's a gorgeous fish. Sure is. What a lovely nice fish that is, eh? That Look is at a, that! That is a nice fish. <laughs> they say up here at rivers that the coho get legendary in size. Like I, everyone I talk to say, oh yeah, I've had like so many over 20 pounds. I've never caught a coho over 10, 20 pounds. Believe it or not, this is uh, average to maybe even below average size yeah. for this area. Yeah. So here we are, we're up at uh, Rivers Inlet. Actually, in search of a lot of the big Chinooks up there, but uh, I think it's next week in the big Coho Derby, isn't it? We do, so just so in time. Coho are coming in, and that's what the Coho look like, so on those fly rods, aren't they fun? Oh, they're a blast. <laughs> that's the only way to play them. Nice fish, Gary. Yeah, it is a nice fish. It's holding like a fairly Chinook strong, too, eh? Is it heading down like a it's Chinook? Down like a Chinook, yeah. Yeah, but that do. That's that 628 tonic yeah. plug. It's been so hot for me lately out here. I'm going to just blow on this here so that... Wow. That's a nice fish. We've been getting a lot of nice springs out here. 25 to 30 pounds, high 20s. There is uh, quite a few tighties we can get around this area too. But, uh, this is a major, major migration point for a lot of those 25 pounders. It's four years. Yeah, yeah, you've seen some great fishing up here in Rivers and Lake too, haven't you? Oh yeah, we get some, uh, especially when the cohos come in. Yeah. And it's just a battle to get through the cohos to get down to those big springs. Yeah. Up there? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Got him? Nice fish, Gary. Hey. <laughs> I got the tape ready there if you'd like. It might be, oh yeah, it's a tie, I think. Oh no. No, it's high 20s. Okay. Got. 48. 23 and a half. No, yeah, he wasn't 43. 36. 23 and a half, 36. Good. Okay, here, hold on for one second. That's going to help. So, uh, Is he ever? Yeah, he is. We're going to have the camera man. That's a nice Chinook. Take a picture of the two of us here. Do you want to do that, my friend? Do it. Just uh, put the camera there. Cool. Oh, he's still kicking. Let's get him back in here. Come on, baby. Look at that. Nice fish. There he goes. There he goes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 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 another job. Well done. Hey, that was a job well done by you, my friend. You called her. <laughs> Good man. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's get these lines back in the water. Gotcha. Woo! Hell yeah. That's what it's all about right That's there. That's all about. That was here in the slot. Would you like to catch a salmon over 50 pounds? There are only a few spots on this earth where that is possible. And one of those spots is world famous Rivers Inlet and Duncanby Lodge is perfectly situated to not only catch those big Chinooks, but also to catch 20 pound plus coho and giant halibut and bottom fish. At Duncanby, it's your vacation, your schedule. You eat when you want, what you want. You are only minutes from some of the finest salmon fishing in the world. What was the biggest salmon caught this year at Rivers Inlet? 80 pounds. Experience the Duncanby difference.